Richard Hurton and Frank Kending have co-authored a book called Lifespans, How Long Things Last, which is about the life expectancies of things, living and otherwise. And the book is filled with unusual facts. For example, the shoes of an average major league baseball player last for about two months. The stick of an average hockey player lasts two games. The boot of a combat soldier lasts two months. And lifespan of things are rather easily predictable. The average lifespan of a dog is about 10 to 12 years. But again, depends on size, breed, environment, etc. The lifespan of persons or individuals are more are not more predictable than things. And today's gospel reminds us about how unpredictable life is. Seems like everything comes with an expiry date. And most of us don't like to be taken too much by surprise. To be prepared for the future is essential to have a clear understanding of what lies ahead and when to expect it. However, it is also important to acknowledge that sometimes unexpected events can occur. This morning's gospel reading features parables spoken by Jesus that highlight the significance of unexpected events and how to deal with them. An old news item in the New York Times relates to how burglars broke into a New York firm. Mainly since the incident occurred in the notorious outskirts of New York, it wouldn't have raised eyebrows. But the fact that it was a company that, make, that makes burglar-proof glass windows <laughs> is funny. As the, as the firm's president said, it never occurred to us to install those burglar-proof window glass <laughs> in our facility. <laughs> well, this amusing story demonstrates our inability to prepare and how often we take things for granted. As in today's gospel, the thief breaks through the walls of a house at an hour no one expects. The master arrives home at a time when his responsible servant is not expecting him. And Jesus indicates that there can be an unexpected element in his relationship with us and ours with him. The Son of Man comes at an hour we do not expect. And death is undoubtedly a reality that we may consider to be sudden and unexpected. Unexpected. <clears throat> However, more may be being referred to than that. The Son of Man comes to us during our lives, and his daily coming amid life can also be unexpected. We may be called to do something we had never imagined. The Lord may lead us down a path we would not have taken by ourselves. The Lord can come to us through unexpected people, people we would never think of as the Lord's messengers. And the gospel reading suggests that we can expect the unexpected when it comes to the Lord. As Isaiah says, his ways are not our ways, nor are his thoughts ours. His many unexpected appearances always require us to be alert and attentive to his many surprise, surprises. Excuse me. <clears throat> Life consists not of holding good cards, but playing well those you hold. Let us live in such a way that our life, our last moments, we may not have cause to regret. In the words of a spiritual writer, a life well lived today makes every yesterday a dream and every tomorrow a vision of hope.